All right, let's get set up here. I know someone who would be very fond to have this miniature. I can already see her asking me for it. Anyway, so today I'm going back to Waterdeep, and I'm not just opening just one, or two, I'm doing three of these boxes today, because, because, but yes, I wanted to go back to doing Waterdeep at least one more time before the Mad Mage comes out, which it hasn't yet, but also because I specifically wanted to open this box here, which is much heavier than any other box I've found for this series so far, so I really want to know what is in this one specifically. So yeah, since I'm doing three of these, I'm going to try and keep it a little shorter. Maybe just show off the minis, say my favorite thing. I don't know. Figure it out as I go. Let's do this! I'm going to open this third one separately after the first eight because I want to know what specifically this one contains. So we'll do these eight first and then we'll come back to this one. Here we go. Number one. Right on top. Got a humanoid creature. Ooh. Is someone holding a crescent shaped weapon? This is Sun Elf Arcane Cleric. 22 of 44. From 2018. Didn't I end up with a Sun Elf Archer or Monk? Something like that? But yes, a very nice looking cloak there. I think it's a bit odd that someone with the title Sun in their name is holding what would represent that of a crescent moon as for a weapon. <laughs> yes, very nice. Okay, let's get to number two. Oh, Ooh, I think I know what this is. I don't have it. Ah. Slithering snake like creature. This is Slithering Tracker, 18 of 44 from 2018. Yeah, I think I saw this one in the monster manual. That's one. It's got a very uh, rough texture because of all the bumps in the models. Very nice. Number three. Another humanoid. Oh! I think I got Durnin. Barkeep. Yarning Portal. This is Durnin. <laughs> 34 of 44 from 2018. At first I thought that bottle in his hand was designed of a skull shaped type of glass, but I don't know. His face seems a bit unpainted. 
It's like just all skin tone. Like there's no detailing for his eyes or mouth. So that's unfortunate. Number four. Oh, I was just about to say no duplicates so far, but then I pulled out this one. It's the monk I already have. This is Human Sun Soul Monk. 11 of 44, 2018. So this was the character I was thinking about when I read Sun Elf earlier. This is the Sun Soul Monk. So yes, like I said last time, very nice uh, color palette for his clothing. Yeah, let's move on to number five. Looks like I got another noble character. This miniature is simply noble. 5A of 44 from 2018. 5A. Does that mean there's a B with a different costume? Or different colors for his costume? Still not exactly sure how the ABU... I, I'm sure I could look it up online and I get my answer, but... I'm being stubborn, I want it all to be a surprise. So we're doing good so far, only one duplicate. It's uh, number six. Spoke too soon. <laughs> I got the noble guy again. His uh, shirt looks a little different. This is noble. 5B of 44 from 2018. So yes, it looks like just a palette swap for what he looks like. That I guess that's the only difference between the A and B, or at least for this model. Yeah, there they are next to each other. Probably gonna have a uh, better close-ups when I record later, but you know, two nobles, same guy, same pose, different paint. So those were those six. Only one technical duplicate, the other is a planned duplicate, however that works, but let's go ahead and get through the bigger box, the bigger models. Yeah. And the first one is something I don't have. I got a crocodile, which I guess is a little ironic or coincidental since, you know, I just opened a bunch of Resident Evil minis and I got a giant alligator. So this one is crocodile. 30 of 44 from 2018. And this one goes along with the fact that you got a lion and a bear within this set. Yeah, those are the two I got, a lion and a bear. <laughs> I don't know, which is more terrifying? The crocodile that works below or the giant alligator. Uh, <laughs> these things. Enough of that, on to the second box. I got a hag. Oh, something a little different about this hag. This one has a bolt of lightning shooting out of its hand. This is Anus Hag, 26B of 44 from 2018. Okay, so at least for this one, when it came to the A and B difference, it, there was actually a difference with the model itself, not just the palettes. So yeah, the uh, first hag I got is holding a skull in her hand. Or is this new one's holding lightning, shooting lightning rather. Now it looks like my first one got more paint detailing as there are shades of pink along its bumps. Whereas this one is a bit dull and flat with the colors. Now yes, two variants of this hag. So yes, those were the first eight. So far only one technical duplicate, that being the monk. But let's move on to this one, the heaviest of the three boxes, or rather the heaviest of any Waterdeep Dragon Heist box I've found so far. Here we go. Something with wings, something new. Looks like I got some sort of devil or fiend. This is Cambion Devil, 13 of 44. From 2018. Looks like he's supposed to have horns but don't stand out too much on this model. Oh yes, on to the next one. Ooh, this one's got a bit of weight to it. it looks like a flying thing. <laughs> I just get a door? A flying door? Is that what I got? This is Animated Door, 24 of 44, from 2018. So, yeah, a floating door. 
But it can't open or close, so it doesn't compare to the ones I got in the Resident Evil game. I wouldn't have uh, figured I'd get a door. It's on to the last one. On to the last one in the hat. Ah, oh, that's a shame. I got another the noble guy. Noble guy A. This is Noble 5A of 44 from 2018. I guess if I ever need a, a gathering of nobles, I've got three of them now. Four. Don't I have another guy that looks like a noble? But yeah. Now on to the last one thing. I'm sure that's taking up all the weights in here. Oh, it's an elephant. This is a big one indeed. Jeez. Unlike my Loxodon, he has both tusks. This is Elephant. 43 of 44 from 2018. I thought it was going to be called something like War Elephant because it looks like it's wearing armor. And my... <laughs> yeah, that's... That's a big one. I fit a noble up there. <laughs> So yeah, that's all the ones I got for this unboxing video. 12 new minis, and surprisingly only two ended up being a duplicate from something I had before. Actually, I can't really say that. Only one was a duplicate from something I had before. The other, I got a duplicate and an alternate in the process with my three nobles. But yes, getting close to having all the ones of this set. I'll need to check to see how many more I have to go. Favorite ones of these 12 would have to be the giant elephant, the hag with lightning shooting out of its hands, <laughs> oddly enough the flying door, or slithering tracker, and the arcane cleric. I, I just, I do like the design of this one. So I'll have to make a character for a game and just have an arcane cleric. But yes, that's all for this one. Let me know what you think, what I should do in the future, and until next time, thanks for watching.